Horses are on the track for the first race at the Illinois State Fair, first half of the Daily Double. Win, play, show, and exact a wagering. Scratch the nine warrior lady because she is sick. Looking ahead to race two, the second half of the Daily Double, Hart Walker will drive number nine, Lady Bidmore, in race two. Today's first race is part of the Illinois Standard Bread Owners and Breeders Association, or ISOBA, series for Illinois bred horses. These are two-year-old pacing fillies. Let's meet the starters. Number one, Patetico, owned by Ron Lott of Athens, by Graham Ross Jr. of Covington, Tennessee, trained by Graham Ross Jr. Dave McGee is up. Two, Fox Valley Trixie is owned by Brandy Penske of Downers Grove, trained and driven by Brian Penske. Number three, Homemade Brownie is owned by William Phillips and Marvin Jack Carter of Carrollton, trained by Bob Walker. The driver is Dale Heitman. Four is looking good, Charlene. Owned by Paula Smith of Valparaiso, Indiana, trained by Amanda Smith. The driver is Joel Smith. Number five, Apple Dumpling is owned by Melissa and Frank Fisher of Albion, trained by Pat Malloy Jr. He's in the bike. Number six, Fancy Muffler, is owned by Steve Newcomb of Chicago and Terry Duffy of Lamont, trained by Tex Motes of Fairfield, Tony Morgan, the driver. Number seven, Macy Wave, owned by Jim Shearer and Oren Miles of Olney, Illinois, trained by Irvin Miller, Andy Miller in the bike. Number eight, Andrea Cole Lynn, owned by George Winters of Carrollton and Reggie Winters of Jerseyville, trained by Reggie Winters, Doug Talley, is in the bike. Number nine, Warrior Lady is scratched. Post time is less than five minutes away. The track is fast. On the world's fastest one mile dirt track, here they come. They're off in pacing. Fancy Muffler guns out for the early lead. Homemade Brownie is there. Fox Valley Trixie down to the inside. And Homemade Brownie kicks in between horses, moves up to get the lead from Fox Valley Trixie at the entry to the first turn. Apple Dumpling goes third around looking good Charlene, who settles toward the inside in fourth. Patetico is fifth. Fancy Muffler is sixth followed by Macy Wave in seventh. Andrea Colin is eighth and last. They're all single file. The quarter, 27 and two-fifths seconds. Homemade Brownie on top by a length and a half. Fox Valley Trixie second by two. Apple Dumpling goes third by three. Looking good, Charlene is fourth. Patetico is fifth, racing some eight lengths off the lead. Another two lengths to Fancy Muffler. Macy Wave is waiting next to last. Andrea Colin is the trailer. They're halfway home, chasing homemade Brownie, who leads it by some two lengths. Fox Valley Trixie goes second, past the half-mile mark. Apple Dumpling third, the half in a quick 55 and four-fifths seconds. Gap of three to looking good Charlene, Patetico, Fancy Muffler, Macy Wave to the outside as ten lengths off the lead, followed by Andrea Cole in, and Patetico comes off the rail from the center of the pack, still six lengths off the lead. Homemade Brownie leads it by a length. Apple Dumpling starts moving up in a second around the outside to Fox Valley Trixie. Patetico moves into contention fourth around looking good Charlene. Fancy Muffler five lengths away will have to come three wide from center pack. Three quarters, 125 and three. Homemade Brownie still leads Apple Dumpling and Fox Valley Trixie, who's buried toward the inside. Fancy Muffler angles wide. Patetico and looking good Charlene are buried behind horses. Macy Wave in the center of the track, four lengths off the lead. Here comes Fox Valley Trixie inside of Homemade Brownie. Fancy Muffler and Macy Wave on the outside. Fancy Muffler short lead. Fox Valley Trixie is there. Fancy Muffler, Macy Wave, and Fox Valley Trixie. Here's the line. Fancy Muffler gets it three parts of a length. Macy Wave on the grandstand side was second, and Fox Valley Trixie was third in 155 flat. Driver Tony Morgan leads the driver standings in Chicago at Balmoral Park, at Maywood Park, and once again, he has been up at the top of the standings nationally throughout the course of the year. He's a former leading dash-winning driver for North America, and he won the last two races yesterday takes the first race today, three straight at the Illinois State Fair, Tony Morgan and Fancy Muffler. Fancy Muffler is by Cole Muffler, owned by Steve Newcomb and Terry Duffy of Chicago and Lamont, trained by Tex Motes of Fairfield, bred by Wayne Oliver of Lee's Summit, Missouri. 155, third win of the year for that filly, and a new lifetime record.